We made it to Animal Con! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Hey guys, Dave and Jamie Womack here from Bird Tricks, and we just got back from Animal Con 2023, and it, it was, was awesome. awesome. We are loading in right now. We literally just pulled up, as in we, as in Dave pulled us up, because, you know, I mean, I could have done it, but I was like, oh, on the day <laughs> off. Show off. <laughs> Don't want him to feel bad about his backup job. <laughs> Anyways. Here we are, we are loading in. This place looks amazing. It looks way bigger than last year. They're using way, bigger. way more space than last year. A zillion booths. And they even made the stage bigger than my specs. Like, for how us. cool is that? They made it bigger Super for cool. us. I got in there and I was like, oh, this is awesome. And they're like, yeah, it's for you. So that's cool. We have a booth this year. Super stoked. Ashlyn and Capri are setting it up right now. So I'm gonna show you guys inside. It's gonna be awesome. Got the door for you, babe. <laughs> So this year, 2023, Animal Con was so different for us. For one, we set up our very own Bird Tricks booth that we were very proud of. Shout out to Ashlyn and her crew for handling all of that, and Capri, she helped too. Yeah, it was awesome to not only have the booth, but we also, <laughs> <laughs> we also talked them into making the stage bigger. It was pretty funny. We show up and we're like, uh, why is the stage so big? And they're like, literally because you guys asked. They made like an 18 by 32 foot stage for us. Unbelievable. And that, you know, you don't need that big of a stage for just a few speakers. And so it was really cool and, and honestly amazing that they did that for us because then we were able to put on a really big show with our parrots and the magic show. And it was just a ton of fun. Rehearsals have begun. Show's tomorrow. I'm ready, Freddy. We are show ready. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit, a little bit. Dave's not freaking out at all, as usual. Yeah, we also took part in a lot of panels. They separated us this year. So we were on different panels, but we had to do one together. Capri was even on panels. So if you guys haven't checked it out yet, head over to Bird Tricks Kids and watch her video on her experience at Animal Con because it was pretty awesome. And she's obviously <laughs> wanting to be on film. So there's that whole thing. But yeah, it was just really different. We got to be part of a podcast. We got to, at least I walked around with Jinx a lot and introduced him to people. A lot of people were excited to meet him. We also used our birds for meet and greets. So Bondi and Jinx made appearance at our meet and greets, which we had a lot. We were very flattered by you guys this year. Our line was, it was, was the longest. It was so awesome. We were like, cool, this makes us feel good. So that was super fun. Yeah, and as we film this, we are in, well, we're backstage. And I just have to say, kind of proud moment. We're unloading and one of the guys is like, wait, aren't you Bird Tricks? He has a cockatiel and, uh, and buys our products. So yeah, yeah, it's been a really fun tour. And like, I mean, we've been on the road for a while and, and getting to meet people at Animal, Animal Con, as well as the shows that they've, they've come from all over, whether it's because of following our magic or birds, it's just been so cool. Especially as we're trying to like blend those together more and more publicly. We've always kind of done both, but we haven't really meshed them together on videos and stuff. And so it's been fun for people to be like, wait, whoa, you do this too? Uh, it's been yeah. really great. 
Yeah, I think one of the things that uh, was a little bit more of a bummer this year is that we weren't around as much. So I know that the fact that we were involved on so many things behind the scenes, we were running from panel to panel, trying to be there for Capri's panels. We were running to the podcast. I was trying to make sure that we were social with Jinx and all of that, but we were doing meet and greets. And then the biggest thing was the show. That was a huge uh, time commitment of between load in, load out. We ended up loading out in the dark. Like it was just a whole thing. It was really funny because all the creators were like, we'll see you at the after party. And I was like, this is our after party. And it was loading out. So everybody is off to Gatorland for the after party. Um, this, this is our after party. <laughs> Tear down and load out family of three. At least someone's having fun. Yeah, you know, behind the scenes, we, we got locked out of the secured area the first night, so we couldn't even finish setting up. <clears throat> I had to reprogram lights, and so after the very first day of the events on Friday, our show's not until Saturday at noon, um, we were in there for like five, six hours just programming lighting and rehearsing and just getting everything put together and assembled and on the stage. And, you know, it, <laughs> despite the hotel's best efforts, we were able to load in. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. So, uh, I will say there were a couple of event guys that just helped out of the kindness of their yeah. hearts and they were a lifesaver for me. I was just yeah. like, you guys rock. So, anyways, the whole Animal Con crew is amazing. We hope to make it a yearly thing. So, definitely book ahead when we have dates. We'll start promoting earlier. We did do a master class this year. That was that super, was super new, cool. And that was so much fun. Big shout out to Tamara and Lee who came down for this class. Tamara came all the way from Georgia and Lee came all the way from Connecticut. No, New Jersey. No, New Jersey. So yeah, it was just insane. And it was so much fun because people got to see a transformation in only 45 minutes. So this was like a it crash like course a... masterclass. So what Jamie's doing here is there's a lot of different treats inside that bowl. And offering choice sometimes gets those flights. Because it's sunflower seeds. Just what do you eat? I don't even like them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You excited? I did. <laughs> you know, and I was like, dang, you put it down. I did put it down. I should have done it. The thing that you were like, this gets attention. So why don't you go ahead and try? All right, so why don't you come forward and, and just show him what he has the opportunity to pick from. So let him see in the tree bowl. And then step back. And come. let's see if we can get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And click. Boom. Let's allow failure and reset. This is really important. It's a step that most people miss. We are so set on get the goal, we don't allow failures. Look at my generations of millennials. We're the first experimental generation of giving everybody a participation trophy for sucking. All right? There's winners and losers, guys. And you have to allow these birds to be able to lose so they can, they can compare and contrast. There. So there. The, the criteria is not the foot holding, it's only trusting the back. By allowing a quote unquote loss and not getting a trophy, he was able to think, huh, that's weird. You'd see him think about it there, was it this, was it this? Yeah. Right? Okay. So allowing failure is really important. So the reason we're ending on easy behaviors is we don't want the birds to think that we always push in a in an exponentially more difficult mentally trajectory, right? We want to end, start and end with like really easy stuff. It's like in high school, if all we did was algebra, we'd probably stop going to school. But they throw in PE and like art, right? And so, just our brains time to change. <laughs> and I will say the reason we were able to do it is because they had diet and sleep right. So if you're failing at life, Fix your bird's diet and sleep, and you can fix your problems in 45 minutes. Oh my gosh. Birdtricks.com. <laughs> But, but legit, right? Yeah, and I hope that um, that you guys really enjoyed that this year because I would love to do that again next year. So I know some of you guys were interested in attending and the reason that we couldn't accept people that didn't have their birds on the right diet and sleep is because we only had 45 minutes to show yeah. a transformation and that's pretty intense. So yeah, it was, it was super, yeah. It was one of my favorite, like probably a highlight for me and then of course seeing all of our friend creators there and there's a lot more animals this year. The fact that we could walk around with the birds and stuff was really, really neat. And and obviously have them in the show so if we met you if you came out thank you for coming out to support us at animal con definitely plan on seeing us next year in 2024 and uh 
gosh, I think that's it. We'll do a better job promoting ahead of time so you guys can get all the details. But um, could you quit with the squeaky in the I back? Can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, anyways, we will see you guys in 2024 at Animal Con in Orlando, Florida. I seriously don't know how Dave is still going right now. I just want to pass out and go to bed, or at least lay down. I just want to off my feet. I don't know. Anyway, I felt like I almost passed out today. Just like exhaustion, lack of food, all the things. We're finally at loadout. Capri and I and two very nice guys from the hotel helped us get everything out here onto this loading dock. And now Dave is playing Tetris. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How he still has energy to play right now, I don't know. I, I don't know. I got nothing. She also has nothing. We need a bigger team. Who wants to come travel and whip stuff around with us? makes loadout really fun. The birds screaming at you the whole time you're doing it. That's awesome. I fed them at a weird time today, so they're stuffed full. Nothing I can do to quiet them down. They want to go to bed. But I can't make it happen. Guys, we're getting closer. Pitch dark outside. <laughs> Here's Capri. What the? I didn't quite make it to the end of the lowdown. <laughs> She's sacked out. <laughs> Can't even roll up the window. Oh, I roll up your window. <laughs> <laughs> 